Hello once again my friends and welcome. In this episode of our Retouch Pro tutorial series, I will show you how you can easily change the colors of clothes using this Photoshop extension panel. And oh, by the way, if you want to purchase this plugin, use my coupon code to get a 5% discount. Link is on the video description. Right, so with that out of the way, let's jump straight into Photoshop. So let's start with this image right here. Then we go to the CS tab here above and click Change Color. Then we select the white brush down here, click on the mask, and start painting on the dress like so. So like I've always mentioned on my previous videos, take your time when painting and be precise as much as possible. You might need to change the brush size a couple of times when painting on different areas of the image. And this is the before. This is after. So it's that easy changing the colors of clothes. And to double check what we have painted, select the mask, hold the Alt key, and click on the mask. As you can see, we've missed a few spots, so let's paint white on those areas. And to go back, Select the mask, hold the Alt key, and click on the mask. To change the color of the clothes, just double click the hue and saturation icon right here. Then move the hue slider to select a color. I'll stick with red for now. You can also play around with the saturation and lightness if you want. So this is how you change the color of clothes using the Retouch Pro panel. It uses artificial intelligence to automatically select the subject, so that you can easily paint on the clothes and change its color quickly. Alright, so using the same image, let's go back to the CS tab and this time, click on the clothes DNB button. DNB stands for Dodge and Burn. This function brightens or darkens certain parts of the clothes to give more depth and dimension. Let's start with the dodge layer right here. Then using a white brush, we paint on the bright parts of the image that you want to enhance. For me, dodging and burning is a personal choice, and you can basically do whatever you want to the image until you are satisfied with the look that you are going for. Just a basic rule is to follow the source of light, and also look for the shadows and the highlights in the image. Alright, let me just turn off and on the dodge layer so you can see the difference. What do you think? Does it look much better? Comment down below. Let's now go to the burn layer. Then paint on the shadows using the white brush. Okay, in my opinion, I don't need to use the burn layer because the shadows are already dark enough. So I will go ahead and erase everything I've painted using the black brush. As a general rule in photography, we don't want any blown out highlights and crushed shadows as it cannot reveal the details on the image. Okay, let's proceed with our second example right here. Again, we go to the CS tab and click on Change Color. Then using a white brush, we paint on the green dress like so. And to change the color, we double click the hue and saturation icon right over here, and move the hue slider to pick a color. Let's choose blue. Then we continue painting. I'll go ahead and fast forward this step. Alright, I think I'm done. Let me just adjust the color and make it a bit bluer. Okay, this looks good. 
Now let's go back to the panel and under the CS tab, click on Clothes Details. Then we click on this mask where it says Brush here and paint with a white brush. So what this function does is it sharpens and adds contrast to the details, making it stand out. This is without the closed details, with closed details. If only her dress had more texture, I bet it would stand out even more. Alright, let's move on to our next example. Let's try to change the color of her dress to gold. So we go back to the CS tab, and we click on Change Color. Then we go to the Hue and Saturation layer down here, and pick the yellow color somewhere right here. Then we click this mask right here, select the brush tool, set it to white color, and start painting. If you've watched my previous Retouch Pro tutorials, you would notice that every function requires using the brush tool and painting on the image to reveal the effect. And what makes this panel a great tool is that it does the selection and masking automatically using artificial intelligence. So it makes photo editing a bit easier and faster. Alright, I think I'm done. This is the before. This is after. So we've made the silver dress turn into a gold dress in a matter of minutes. Let me just tweak the colors a little bit right here. Before. After. Right, looking good. Let's now add the close dodge and burn function. And let's start with the dodge layer. Again, we paint on the highlights to enhance those areas. And we do the same with the burn layer. Let's decrease the opacity to 50%. This is without the dodge and burn. With dodge and burn. Alright, this looks perfect. Let's now click on clothes details. And again, we paint using a white brush to reveal the effect. This is without the clothes details, with clothes details. There's quite a difference, right? Let me also decrease the opacity to 50%. Now that looks much better. Let's group all the effects together, and let's compare it with the original image. This is the before, and this is after. Let's zoom in. Before, after. So, what do you think of the CS function in Retouch Pro? Is it useful? I want to know your thoughts, so comment down below. And for our last example, let's use this image. Again, we click on the Change Color function in Retouch Pro. Then we start painting. Let's pick a color for this image. I think green looks good. I will go ahead and speed this up. Alright, that should do it. Before, after. Let's go back to the CS tab and select Clothes DNB. Then select the Burn layer, set the flow to 5%, and start painting. This will make the sweater slightly darker. Let's go back to the Hue and Saturation layer and adjust the color. Okay, that should do it. Then let's group all these layers together. This is the before, after. Looks cool, right? We can always go back to the hue and saturation layer and change the color whenever you want to. 
It's just a matter of personal style and taste. So feel free to experiment and play around with this function. There are a lot of tools in the Retouch Pro panel that you can use to help you achieve amazing looking photos. Always remember that practice makes perfect. And just have fun photo editing. If you have questions about the panel, feel free to leave a comment down below and we will try to help you out. Again, use the link down in the video description to get a 5% off on your next purchase. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and click on the bell icon to enable notifications. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.